I'm currently bored. I'm currently rendering a long, long video. And I got the idea that I should do something for all of my Twitch followers. And I was like, you know what? Let's do one netherite ingot for every follower I have. Because I thought, you know, a diamond block for everyone. I mean, I already got 41. That's no fun. I don't have a single netherite ingot because I've used it used it to make a bunch of this. I had a few, um, but I had to, had to get rid of it for um, a few reasons. So we're going to go mining for netherite, basically. I'm going to get one netherite ingot for every single Twitch follower I have. Um, yeah. I've recently been playing some modern Minecraft, so that's what this, uh, this video is about. Uh, or the 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 video that I'm currently rendering. It was a it was a live stream. It was like six hours long. Hefty, 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 man. It's so long that it's it's like it's it's insane. And I can't really do anything else. And I figured, why waste why waste this time? Um, okay, so this is where my friend started. Um, digging for ancient debris. I'm going to go try to branch off in a certain direction. I think I'm going to go this direction here. Um, but I want to build up because I don't want to be too low. I want to be around here. 15. Now, the way I do it is I just dig in a straight line just strip mine for a little bit and then place some tnt every few blocks and uh light it on fire and just let everything go oh and hopefully not run into a lava pool like that because that is no bueno we don't want to see that I've been playing my or modern Minecraft for a little too long, um, so I'm just so used to how it works, and um, yeah, I haven't played vanilla. Um, this is actually the server that I was doing a uh, a story on. Uh, if you guys remember back then, I posted something about air call. Uh, we brought it back, but this time I'm not a survival player. I'm actually a um, a storyteller. So, I, oh no, 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 no. So I get to be the person to act everything out, create the story, and that sort of thing. And uh, we recently just got done with one of our one of our story episodes. Uh, didn't really go too well. The server ended up having some issues, which uh, which kind of sucked because. Uh, the, the characters or my friends, they weren't able to experience, um, a conversation between two of them, the, the story characters. And it was like, oh God, like the server just didn't want to do me justice then. So that kind of sucked. It took the, the mood out of everything, but I started playing the modern Minecraft and I was like, this is basically like the story that I was doing in vanilla, except with a whole bunch of mods installed and way better because you actually have these like really cool tools and really I mean, hey look there's one all right it's good and it's a two for let me do three is there three it doesn't look like it but yeah i was like okay maybe we keep the the story to just vanilla because i was saying you know whenever we get through the vanilla series and our friend Jason finally gets his his PC built, then you know we can move on to modded and we can do storytelling on there. And I was like, playing this is just insane already. I don't know how I want to go and change that. So um, yeah, I figured we'll just do it on vanilla. We don't need to change it any bit. I'm actually gonna turn my lights on. Give a little bit more depth to them to my room otherwise it's just pretty bland 
Can you just see my nasty ass beard? Just bright, bright lights. If I turn this off, then we go super dark and we have the nice background. That's what we're going to go with. That's what we're going to go with. I have no food. I just realized. I just realized I have no food. And that's that's not good. That is not good at all. That's actually really, really, really bad. Because I'm going to have to cut this short. I need to do so like... Like this, just every every now and then, usually every three to four blocks, um, it kind of gets a little hard to to like gaze where it is, but it doesn't really matter. You know, I I can make TNT pretty easily. Got a whole lot of uh, paper. Uh, got a whole lot of gunpowder. I think. Uh, if not, my friends have constantly been using our uh, XP farm that I built before I went into story character. So, hopefully, hopefully we can we can get some more TNT to to fulfill what we need. I think we need. I think I'm currently at 245. Wait, 245. That doesn't sound right. 225 followers on Twitch, and I'm also currently I think 100. And, what's up? 100 and something followers on YouTube or subscribers on YouTube. So it's insane. Um, I, I also feel very sad because I'm like, damn, if I continued streaming back in 2020, 2021, whenever I did my, like whenever I, I guess I, I guess you could say started blowing up on YouTube or blowing up on Twitch. Um, I would have been, I would have been like, I would say doing pretty fine. Uh, but I got sick here and there. Um, school and, and work kind of pushed me out of it. And working on some some projects that took a little too long. Uh, me procrastinating, watching watching shows and not really having a to-do list. Kind of focusing on other things other than streaming. Kind of pushed me out of the, the loop. And I didn't get to, to, to see myself thrive. I'm currently an affiliate for... A little over four months now. I think it's about to be or a little four months, four years now. I think about to be at five year mark in late later this year, and we, we've already reached the end here. So it's it's just crazy to see. Like if if I continued it, I think I'd be way better off. That's not good. That's not a good start. We're just gonna block that off. Try to block off every other thing here. Okay. But yeah, I I think I average like 12 viewers a day or a stream and that was it was, it was I was so happy whenever that happened. I think at one point someone rated me and I had up to 26 viewers and I was like, dude, this is insane. Back then, that was that was everything to me, and I've struggled since then to actually find my footing. Oh shoot, that's not good. To find my footing in like streaming again, and it's it's it sucked because I I've I've, I've just just one wrong move, and then it, it all just went bad. And I feel like if if I can go back and change what I would like to and change my decision to, to stop streaming or, you know, any of that, um, I would 100% go back and attempt to do it because, man, it was so fun. Like, I was, I was actually enjoying life um, even through COVID. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I'm probably going to end up dying here. Because I'm just not <laughs> being careful. <laughs> Let's go get some meat. You know what? I actually got to be really careful here. Um, actually, it's a good thing that we have these plugins installed for the story because uh, it helps the characters. Because I could just do slash home 
and then we're home it makes it so easy I, I was like hey um i'll give you guys access to a few commands just to make it seem you know it, it make it easier for you guys um you don't have to deal with like a lot of this stuff that i went through whenever you're playing a normal single player world you know you can do whatever you want that sort of thing and um we gave him access to some things uh slash home being one of them they also have slash e chest they, ha they can make their own nicknames um but just just like quality of life up the actually wait and then i can do slash back and then return right back to where i was which is freaking perfect it's so amazing and i like quality life making the story try to go as smoothly as possible um trying not to let people like waste time um just constantly traveling back and forth to, to get things if they die they can do slash back to get to their stuff very quickly um if they're in a, a weird predicament where they're like in lava or they're constantly getting killed by some wither skeletons obviously it's going to be a little different i don't know where i started digging up so we're gonna have to find this area first let me let me oh wait right here okay we're good um yeah figured i'd just talk did i really place tnt this far away i'm actually insane Let's do that. Let's run away. Make sure we don't run into a lava pool because that would be nice. But of course, we run into a giant lava pool right here. So we're going to have to take care of this. Very, very, very carefully. And the urge to, to do it. Like. In, in creative is so strong right now but i'm actually just gonna dig around it i don't want to try to fix it it's too too much too much work for me right now i don't want to deal with it it's just a little bit right there we have some netherite or some ancient debris we'll take that thank you is there any more oh it's three three of them holy that's a that's a good one right there that didn't that, that doesn't work it does not work. Um, but yeah, really wish I, I could have kept up with my streaming back then. Uh, it's one of my regrets, and kind of hope that I can I can pick it back up before uh, my life gets a little too hectic again. <laughs> because we got some there's some things happening in my life, and I, I just want to like I want to get back to what I, I I used to be we used to do, and like what I love doing I whenever it was like that I was living the dream playing games with my friends almost all day every day uh, being there with Elvis Elvis was my duo you know he was constantly there but then uh, life got a hold of him and uh, he's been unfortunately kind of missing from the the pack for a little bit but uh, he hangs out with us every now and then if you catch me live on a stream you know he's He's there sometimes. Um, not as often as he used to be. So uh, back then, you know, there's a freaking Sea of Thieves and all that. We got another three vein. Oh my lord. And Sea of Thieves, very, very popular on my YouTube channel. Very, very popular. And I want to get back into it too, but. <sighs> No, I don't even know. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dig around it. But yeah, I don't even I don't even know. I don't know where to begin with see at these like I, oh you wanna you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. I don't know where to begin with Sea of Thieves. Like, I want to get back into it, but I can't play it alone because 
I I've done so many solo slooping adventures, and uh, the game just got to a point where, uh, like, I just don't want to lose anymore, and I don't want to take the risk of losing all my shit, especially whenever it goes so much faster with two people. And all the quality of life updates. Don't get me wrong. It, it it's so it's so good knowing that there's like loads and loads of speed updates. Like you can buy a freaking storage crate. You can buy other crates. Get the voyages directly on the ship. That sort of thing. It helps so much. But beforehand, you know, it, it used to take me 30, 45 minutes just to even set up for a solo soup adventure because you need to get all your, all your materials. You're constantly, I didn't even, I didn't even know that there was ancient debris right there, but I need to get some blocks real quick. And after the 30, 40 minutes, you're already like, okay, if I was doing a two hour stream, I'm already basically done. But. I feel like most of the content came from Jason and me. Uh, we would constantly fuck around and see it these, especially whenever um, Elvis kind of took a, a backseat role. He's uh, just dealing with family problems. Or not really problems, just dealing with family and, you know, his his, his whole situation. Um, and Jason stepped up being part of the, the content creation. And um, I feel like it's just... It's con it's it's smooth sailing. I want I want to say smooth sailing, but it's kind of been a little rough. But every time I get onto YouTube, there's always been like extra views on some type of Sea of Thieves short or video, and it's always the Sea of Thieves ones. Always the Sea of Thieves ones. It's never um, a Minecraft one or a or a Party Animals one, unless it's like one of the really good ones that I made early on. It's always Sea of Thieves, and it's so funny to, to like, react because Jason loves them. He loves the, the episodes, and uh, he, he's also been wanting to play, but it's, like, you know, some with work and, and all that, school, um, everybody's situation, kind of like, oh, man, we got we to gotta put, put our life first. We can't really take the, the big leap to do it full time. Um, at least that's my case because I don't I want to do it full time, but it's been a part time thing for me for the past eight to ten years. And even whenever I was not working, I haven't been working as of this video. I haven't been working for God knows how long, maybe like six and a half months. Uh, there's been parts of me where I don't want to to go into work, and I just want to focus on on this and try to make that leap but then i wake up the next morning and i'm i'm just not in the mood to do anything i just want to play the game i don't want to record i don't want to do anything and that's that's not good that's not good and i've just been procrastinating a whole bunch i got so many things i need to get done and i'm so overwhelmed and even though I'm not supposed to be that type of person. Um, I don't see myself as the type of person to just constantly push stuff off anymore. Uh, I was doing very well, but ever since I got into the slump that I'm currently in, it's been rough for me to kind of get back on track. There will be a, a short bout, a short, like, two, three-day span of... Me being like, okay, yeah, I can do this, and I'll start doing chores around the house. I'll feel really good about myself, and then the next day comes, and I'm like, I just need a, I just need an off day. Something went bad, and now I don't really want to, don't really want to talk about it with anybody. I'm not really trying to do anything today. Got a lot of shit done, or just, just one small thing happens, like one minor thing, and now I'm. Like now my moods are in for the whole, the whole week, and it's hard to get me out of that that slump. Oh god! This video is kind of just went on a, I'm just going on like rants about stuff. I just need to 
I, I haven't made a video like this in a while. It's always been, it's always been like an act sort of thing. Um, just turn the camera on, hit the record button, try to be funny, try to make the video entertaining. Um, hasn't really been doing something like this, and uh, this gives me a chance to to like reflect on on my life. Just wow, I filled my inventory so quick. Reflect on my life, think about what I maybe could have changed. I don't really need gold. I don't play on this world enough. I'm just going for ancient debris at this point. Um, but yeah. Kind of just self-reflection. Uh, haven't been myself lately. Uh, people who watch this, even if they do watch it, I'm always telling my friends, hey, if you can watch this video, you know, you don't really have to watch it. Because I feel like I don't make that much, that many, I'm, I'm, I'm a ter okay, first of all, I'm a terrible speaker. Um, I feel like my speech has gone down over the past, like, five, six years. Um, actually, you know what, maybe mainly over the past two and a half, three years, uh, mainly because I haven't really spoken to a lot of people and I've kind of just been, uh, laid back. I don't really talk to people that much and cause I'm just like, oh, you know, just whatever. I mean, I, I work and I go home and I feel like my anxiety has gone through the roof. I don't want to say that because I'm not really too big of a fan of saying you have a mental disability or something. Um, that's not me. <laughs> At least I don't want to say that's me. So, yeah, there's just a lot on my mind. Um, but going back to that other situation, uh, telling my friends to, to watch videos, you know, I'm not a good conversationalist. Sometimes I think I don't make the best videos. I'm very hard on myself. I, I like to see, I, I like to say that I'm a perfectionist and I want to try to put out the best video that I can for you guys. And then whenever I put it out and I see that the effort that I put into it wasn't well received by, the, come on, the amount of work that I put in and the reward I got for it wasn't what I expected it negatively impacts me and that shouldn't happen I feel like I should be proud of everything that I put out and I feel like you shouldn't really expect a reward for something that you're doing uh, like this because it's kind of like a hobby um, you're doing it to try and make other people feel good doing it to try to brighten someone other or someone else's day um you do it to escape from reality and you know, that sort of thing and that's what i'm trying to to get back into i haven't had a heart to heart moment in a video in a long time uh, every time i make videos now or every time i i, I stream uh, there's always one of my friends watching um i've gotten more i've gotten less open about my feelings recently uh kind of just going back to the the part where i don't really talk to people um bad idea bad idea you, you need to talk to everybody or just you know make an attempt to talk to someone and looks like we're running out of room before we run into the the lava pool that's right here. I'm actually not even going to blow that up. I'm going to start digging in this direction. So let me get started here. And then I will continue on my rant. All right. I should have, you know what? Every so often, I'm going to do one of these videos as I work towards my goal of... It's pretty good. As I work towards my goal of hitting 
the amount of netherite ingots that I'm supposed to have, which it's going to be a god awful long time. Unless I keep getting lucky like this. This is pretty good so far. I mean, I have 14 right now, which pretty good, but it could be way better. And I kind of need to run into some lava because I would love to throw out all the netherrack that I'm putting out. Actually, wait, what I could do, do this. I don't need anything else other than the stuff I got. I believe I do kill all drops. And that'll kill all the drops, which helps tremendously with lag. Get rid of all the drops. I don't have to keep picking them up and, and whatnot. So uh, now we can just do this in peace. I need to make sure that my pickaxe does not break. That would be unfair. I'm trying to do all this in survival. I'm not trying to... And then we run into a lava pool. Cool. Let's go back over this direction and just do that. But uh, since I'm going to be working towards this goal, um, the more Twitch followers I get, the harder the... The goal is gonna be so i'll try to do this and hopefully just get it done and just keep up with it um if there's a large influx of followers which i'm not expecting um it would be nice but you, you know you just get into that that first 250 mark or whatever it is is already a hurdle and i need to grab all this Need to repair my pick. Okay. So, getting to that initial point, the initial mark is going to take the longest. And until that happens, um, I don't expect to see a lot of growth. And wow. Let's just keep it going. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I lose my train of thought super quickly, but yeah, just uh, constantly doing my thing, you know, uh, getting through these videos, I think I'm going to have to write down a list of things to talk about, um, that way it's, I can make sure I touch on all the points and I'm so good at finding ancient debris right now. I'm getting so lucky and I'm very superstitious too. So I'm like, okay, I start a video like this. I have to be rendering a video and I have to be talking about dude. I don't, I, I don't understand. I've been, I've only been doing this for 30 minutes. I've only been doing this for 30 minutes and I've already found 20 ancient debris, which is actually really insane if you think about it, because last time, I, uh, that entire time I, we went blast mining, did not find a whole lot of ancient debris. I found more ancient debris just strip mining like this than I have blast mining, which is actually really insane. <clears throat> but yeah, I think I need to make like a sticky note or something. I've gotten really good at writing down sticky notes for uh, editing videos. And it's helped me speed up the process a whole bunch. Um, I've also started to... Don't do that. Don't do that. I've also started a process of like... Okay. Let's say I have a, uh, a video uh, or a stream. It's a long one. Uh, I'll try to create a video out of it and then go back and get shorts from that video, you know, just, and just throw that out there, see what happens. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. I saw lava there too. So we're not going to touch that it's already coming down. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do this. staying quiet right now so I can try to place everything at like an even distance from each other so I only have to do it once or light it once 
and not really flight it a whole bunch of times like I had to do last time. Um, it would be a little different because if it lights it, and it blows up, it could ignite the TNT. That TNT drops further and won't hit the next one. But we will see. Hopefully this works. See something like that. If I'm focusing on placing TNT, uh, it kind of goes a little bit smoother than talking while doing this. This is kind of like a podcast section. I'm just blasting my feelings. <laughs> Yo! Alright, there's no ancient debris here, which is kind of upsetting. But we're good there. And by all means, if, if some of my friends are watching this, I'm fine. I may tell you to, to watch a video. You know, you don't have to watch it, but like, you know, just give me the watch time just so it, it helps. Um, I care, but then I also don't care. Like, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to watch it. I'm trying to reiterate on what happened before. Um, I, I'm not the best entertainer. I try to be. There may be days where I need netherrack, like right now. There may be days where I need, or I'm just in a, a really good mood and my entertainment just goes through the roof or my, my personality changes and um, everything is just much better. You know, that, that certainly helps. It makes a difference. Oops. But then also trying to focus on doing one thing while also simultaneously doing another thing sucks because I have no idea how to multitask anymore. Um, just one day hoping that I can go back and relive 2020. Uh, maybe not the COVID part. COVID part sucked. And not being able to go anywhere sucked. But getting the opportunity to stream kind of full time after work was kind of non existent at that point. Uh, it was really fun. Everybody was home. Uh, viewership was up, obviously, because everybody was home. Uh, it was really fun. And there's always those. Those what ifs. What if I didn't stop for a few days or something didn't happen or I wasn't depressed or something like that? Then I feel like I'd be in a better spot. And I'm constantly thinking about that and it just, it's like engraved in my mind. Like 2020, every time I talk to Elvis, it's always, you know, like, damn, man. If I kept it up, if, you know, if we did things just a little bit differently, if I didn't get sick that one time and had to take a hiatus for like a month and a half during COVID or literally anything for that matter, if I, this is too big of a gap, if I didn't feel like I was overwhelmed, if I stopped watching certain movies and and movie t or TV shows. Um, I'm not going to lie. There are times where uh, certain TV shows I would just binge watch and I'd be like, yeah, I really want to really want to stream, but I'm always, I also really want to look at, like continue watching this, this series or continue watching this movie. I want to finish this movie series or this TV show. Just, you know, just binge watching that stuff. So, um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie recently I've kind of been watching a lot of Spongebob 
obviously. We have YouTube TV now, and uh, the just watching SpongeBob go back to my childhood days uh, when things were simpler. People didn't really want anything from me. Just doing my own thing, chilling, playing Minecraft, grinding away, not really making any YouTube videos. Uh, I, I see that as a waste of time now. Um, I've been unemployed for the past six months. Recently got hired and plan to start soon. Um, and I just think, you know, what if I actually put my head down and while constantly looking for a job or waiting for employers to reach out to me or contact me about my recent interview, I could have been streaming, I could have been making videos like I have been or was recently. <coughs> you know, I'd, I just get into these funks where... I don't know if I'm good enough in order to continue making these videos or if my passion is still there. And I always tell myself, like, you know, th this is fun. I like doing it. Whenever I start editing videos, I, I start telling my, my fiance, this is what I want to do. If I had the opportunity to do it full time, I would definitely take it. But we're not in this. I'm not in a situation where I can try to do that. And I don't trust myself enough to fully pursue something like this full time whenever I need to do things. <clears throat> so yeah, just, just just some more two cents. If I can think of other things to talk about other than my what ifs, I'll start spewing about that. Uh, we're, we don't talk about talk politics here. We don't talk about any of that stuff some of the current event things you know we'll, we'll probably touch on it if it's not a a touchy-feely subject uh so like nvidia becoming one of the the top companies in the world that was actually pretty pretty cool to hear pretty insane uh it does suck it does sting a little bit because i was like you know what if you what if you invest in nvidia what if i invested in, in nvidia and it stings even harder because I was telling myself to invest in NVIDIA for a short period of time, and I never did it. So that's going to be in the back of my mind for a while. Um, just, it just sucks. You got to deal with it. You got to deal with it, and that's just life. You just got to deal with this shit. And I'm constantly working on my pool outside. That's kicking my ass. It just doesn't want to stay clean. Oh my goodness. I've tried so hard and got so far. And I thought I was doing really well to get it clean. Until we started getting all this rain. And now I'm basically starting from begin the beginning. It sucks. My goal for this video is to at least reach a stack of ancient debris. And we are going to continue doing this. Oh, we're going to continue doing this until we get there. It's kind of going to be like, I should have, I should stream this, but it's to give you con guys context. It's four in the morning. My sleeping schedule has been fucked for so long. And even if I try to fix it, I've stayed up like 24 hours to try and fix it, 28 hours to fix it. I think I was up at one point like 31 and I slept, but then I ended up sleeping for so long that I then fucked up my schedule again. And it stems with the fact that whenever I play games, I don't really play solo games. I'm constantly looking to play games with friends. I'm constantly wanting to to do things with my friends because I feel like that's the only way that I can make engaging and entertaining content. Like, is this entertaining at all? If it is, if you've made it this far and you're listening, 
kind of like a podcast thing since I'm kind of just blast mining for TNT. Um, which, if you are, I mean, kudos to you. I appreciate you being here. Um, but if you are, I mean, is this engaging? Do you like this? Should I do this more? Should I talk about my life experiences more? Should I just tell stories while doing this? Um, should, what do you think? Should I do more, more solo videos? And go back to, to how I was beforehand? Um, or should I still try to create more more multiplayer videos and seek out more um seek out more playing time with friends because that's what i've kind of been prioritizing myself to to do which is play games with friends and um that's kind of how it turned out to be so far um literally every day i hop on I start doing stuff, I get bored, and I, I kind of just don't talk. That's that's really all it is. I don't really talk that much. Um, I feel like I've gotten better over the years with how my my shyness is. Um, I've always told people I'm a very, very shy guy. I don't like talking very much, if at all. So whenever... The opportunity comes and I'm like the only person here I get flustered whenever I'm approached by someone or someone tries talking to me let's say I'm in I feel more comfortable when friends are around and I feel like I could be myself more um, to a certain degree there's a point where I feel like being by myself and talking to people I could probably be more open but I choose the way or I, I kind of model the way I speak and the way I answer questions or, or talk based on who's currently around me. If I'm normal, like I say normal, if I'm alone like this, I try to be as formal as possible. If I'm with friends, It'll most likely be all over the place. Like, I don't know what I'll be, and uh, what, what I'll end up doing or what I'll end up saying. And things will just be super hectic at times. But then there are times where like certain friends, maybe like Elvis, um, stuff will be so smooth. Um, it won't be hectic. So just be like i'm just talking to a homie and that's kind of kind of goes back to back in 2017 when elvis and i would play fortnite we play sea of thieves we play minecraft we play whatever and he's just gotten comfortable with it uh, it's it's kind of like being in that streamer mindset i haven't been in that streamer mindset where you have to watch what you say. I've kind of just been around people that, you know, just say whatever they they want to say. And there's multiple people out there. Um, I don't mind it. But at the end of the day, there is a point in time where it's like, okay, now we're just getting to a point where it's kind of just too much. And you just say it way too often. Um, oh, gosh. But, yeah. <laughs> Not trying to call anybody out. It's just... There are times where... You kind of want to try and... And be normal. And stay away from certain people. But then again, you don't. Because you don't want to be alone. And... You're kind of just in a loop at that point. You don't want to be alone, and you don't want to be with certain people, or act a certain way. I feel like I'm not getting the point across properly. 
So I'm gonna go on to my next subject, which I'll figure out as soon as I come up with another subject. Why would you do that? Okay, I'll do that. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Um, I'm thinking I'm not going to uh, cut a whole, whole lot of this out. I think a lot of this should just be just raw footage, completely uncut footage. You know, nothing was, nothing was taken out. Just grade me on my ability and tell me what I can improve on. Um, I know a lot of my, a lot of friends will tell me that you're doing a good job or that, you know, there is something that you can improve on, but they don't really tell you what, or they tell you you can improve on something, but it's, you know, it's no big deal. And then your best friends will tell you the, the cold hard truth, like, no, you gotta do this because, and then give you A, B, C, and D on to, as to why you're, you're not doing a good job on something. And I feel like I haven't been around certain friends that can give me that kind of feedback. And so... I'm kind of relying on myself to look at my videos and my content and be like, okay, well, what can I improve on? I feel like I don't really need to improve on anything. No, you definitely should improve on something because you're not, you're obviously not doing something right. But the goal is to keep improving to make better content. And then I just get so, so bored of like trying to do everything myself. It just gets tiring. And then I get, uh, I start procrastinating making videos. I had a goal for myself. And that goal was, let me just, let me just go to the YouTube real quick. I want to see where I'm at in the chain. By chain, I mean I want to see how many subscribers I have. I think it's like 162. 169. Okay. So. Um. Go to Twitch real quick. 169 subscribers on YouTube and two hundred and twenty five followers on Twitch. I think my goal was two hundred and fifty followers on Twitch and at least 200 subscribers on YouTube. But the way I was going, I was 100% going to hit it. I stopped making content. I stopped making shorts, TikToks, that sort of thing. It was working. I was gaining a lot of uh, traction on TikTok and gaining like a sort of following. People were actually commenting on some of the TikToks and I was like, okay, this actually, this is working, kind of like how YouTube Shorts, TikTok, TikToks, you can post something, it gets put to the top or whatever, and uh, you get a lot of views really quickly, that drives traffic, and so on and so forth, more watch time, et cetera, et cetera. I stopped doing that. For what reason? Your guess is as good as mine, because I don't know why I stopped. I wanted to keep going. I'm pretty sure if I reach deep down, I'll figure out why I stopped. But for the time being, I have no idea. 
I wish I could have kept going. I wanted to keep making videos. I was like, this is this is so fun. I'm actually may actually I kind of do know why. And it goes back to me not wanting to be alone for the videos. I saw that the the party animals uh videos were popping off. But then people stopped getting on to do it. So I wasn't able to make content or it would take a long time for us to get content because it was kind of funny moments and sometimes people just weren't in the mood that sort of thing and so it was kind of rough to get content based on how the video or how previous videos were doing previous shorts previous tiktoks and that kind of put a damper in plans and then people or and then party animals died out super quickly among the friend group. And then I'm just like, okay, well, what else can we do? We can play a certain game. And then we go back to the part where no one knows what we want to play. We're always looking for different games. No one really has money to go buy a game. Jason's kind of limited to certain games to play on his computer because this computer's kind of dog shit or is dog shit. He knows it. Um... He's working on getting a new computer, but some of the games were like, okay, we don't want to just, you know, we're trying to be all inclusive to everybody, but then it's just, you know, you're very limited to, to what's popular. And then sometimes a game will come out, it's very popular, but it's only, or it's like 20 bucks or something. You know, nothing too crazy, but just, just enough to where some of your friends can't play it. Or even the new games, you know, Jason has a tough time um, playing it. His computer has a tough time playing it, at least. And he won't, or he's not able to play it. Um, there, there are times where we'll get a video, or not a video, we'll get a game that's cheap or free to play. It looks fun, but he hops on it. Computer isn't able to run it. And so he gets off of it, and we don't play it. Because we all want to play a game where everybody can play, and it's not just, uh, oh, yeah, it's just going to be me and, for example, me and Elvis or me and Joe or something like that. We all want to play something together. And... That's where some of the issues lie. I should be listening to music right now. It'll help. It'll help. I won't I won't let y'all hear the music. I'll be playing music for myself. I won't I'm not gonna let y'all hear the music. I don't know if it's copyright copyrighted. If that makes sense. But It'll help me get in the right headspace. It'll help me do things. Try to focus on what I'm saying. You've also got a lot of ancient debris in this section here. Fortunately, I need to grab some more netherrack because I threw all of it away. Grab this last piece up here. Yeah, we're currently at... Wow, well, okay. Yeah, we're almost at uh, an hour into the video. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do this as a no, not, not cutting any of it. It's going to be 100% like uncut raw footage. Uh, everything I said, all the pauses, everything, it may take a lot longer to get through the video. Uh, it may be hard to sit through the video if you're someone who can't really sit for long periods of time. And listen to, to someone with such a horrible, horrible voice. Or someone that doesn't vary their voice in any any way, shape, or form. And is just trying to, to talk and, and do things. Kind of like a podcast thing. But I'm kind of...
constantly learning. I'm trying to to get myself back in the mood to to try to pick up the slack and and make another push for it. Um, I guess that's another thing that I I need to work on is I I hate how long it takes for for things. I want instant gratification. I want things instantly. I hate I hate the wait for it. But I know that's not the right mindset. I I know it's not the right mindset. But it still gets to me. And the thing that gets to me the most is whenever I think I I think I put out a really good video and then the community doesn't think so. That's what that's what gets to me. Cuz I know everybody's going to have their own opinion on what makes a good video or what what makes engaging content. And the one time that I think that I I put out like a really good quality content video Someone else is gonna shit on my day. Not give me constructive criticism, but just straight up. Completely just rip me a new one. And now my whole ego is just destroyed. Bad way to put it, but that's just how I am. You gotta be tougher than that, and you know what? I don't have any more TNT, so I don't know why I'm doing this. We ended up with 39 ancient debris. Um, unfortunately, I need to go make some more TNT. So actually, wait. Let's do a little trick. We slash home. We get home so quickly, and then we have everything start lagging because it's not good. So throw those in there, throw everything else in there. I don't care where I put things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and s actually, yeah, we'll smelt this. We'll try to get um, a total of 64, like a full stack of netherite scrap. That way we convert all of it into ingots and get like, what is it going to be? 12? 16? I think 16. 16. Uh, and then, yep, we got 16 subs. That'll take the first, the first good chunk out of it. But we need, we need, where are my butt flaps? That may sound weird to you guys right now, but I had a elytra. Oh, it's right there. Duh. I don't know what I'm looking at. Basically blind. Okay. I can put that on. Did I take off dual barrel roll? I did. Oh, thank goodness. It makes it so much easier. All right. We need gunpowder. We need gunpowder. ASAP. I don't know how they did the sorting up here because they changed it so many times. Is that all the gunpowder we have? Definitely a lot of bows. Okay, so I think Oscar's been the one taking the, the gunpowder because he has been, or we kind of instructed him to to help people get netherite. Um, so we need to, we need to get some sand. He also took some of my sand. I hope he didn't take all of it because I had a big chunk. Okay. All right. Let's throw that in there. Let's get a chesticle back on. Um, and then let's go to the crafting table. Go craft a little TNT. And then let's see how much we can make. Make a good chunk, actually. 
Boom. Boom. Three more stacks. Look at that. Actually, wait. Four stacks and 11. That's a good chunk. That's a good chunk right there. We also got more in here. We'll go ahead and grab it because why not? Go ahead and do that. Get some more. Gotta use all of it. Gotta use all of it. Can we get to full five stack? We cannot, but we are like right there. So now we have literally passed the hour mark, but I'm kind of in the mood to continuously make long videos. We're going to keep going and I'm going to actually get rid of, um, the torch doesn't really help really. Um, let's throw that back in there. I don't really need the bow. Actually, wait. I don't need the torch. Let's put the torch up. I can just shoot it. Don't do that either. Slash back. And now we're here. See how convenient that is? And then let's just... Get a 15. Dig a nice long path. And continue on. Working towards... We're gonna go with Twitch... Actually, no. I guess this is, since this is on YouTube, we'll go with the subscriber portion. Um, which is 162 subscribers? So I need 162 netherite ingots. Uh, I originally was thinking of doing like a... Oh, I need to get... Uh, a full netherite beacon before we move on to modded, but uh, as time went on, I was like, okay, I really want to play modded Minecraft, and I don't want to continue doing this because I've kind of stopped playing vanilla survival, and I was kind of just being the, the story person. I was like, okay, we'll just we'll just do what what I was originally gonna do. I don't really need this. It's kind of just for the XP. And then we constantly search for the ancient debris. I don't think we got anything else. But we're going to keep going. It will do like that. Hopefully that goes through. Yeah, let's oh my goodness i'm just constantly lighting myself on fire today huh oh another three for let's go oscar is seething right now i think uh i don't know Did we go any further nope all right good enough i'll just toss all this away Got a good chunk going this way. That's really good. Uh, we just head on back this direction. I three out. All right. I think I'm just gonna continue, just mine and continuously go until I run into lava, switch, and then. Rinse, repeat, keep going. That way I can place all the TNT down and not just do this. Like do a small portion and then go again. We need to do like large portions at a time. Hopefully that'll, that'll make it go a little bit faster. That way you're not watching a whole two hour video and it's me just ranting about, about certain things. 
There's some more ancient debris. Hopefully y'all can see this very well because uh, I feel like brightness isn't as much. I also need to throw something else on. Hold on, hold on. Going through some old videos of mine. Oh, how things were so different. I used to be so creative back then. Like my mind has slowly just become mush. And I hate it. Because I struggle talking. I struggle to keep conversations going, even with my own family. Unless I have something really interesting to talk about. Otherwise, I just keep my mouth shut and try to let them control the conversation. Because I don't have anything to talk about. I feel like everything's just so boring. It's so, like, I don't, like, okay. Uh, congratulations on everything. Hi, how you doing? Uh, hope work's going well. Have you found work? We haven't caught up in a while. Blah, blah, blah. That sort of thing. But I'm just like, I can't come up with any other questions. I'm like, okay, we kind of said all we needed to say. You know, the last time I saw you was three, four years ago. Or the last time I saw you was a few weeks ago. Nothing's really changed. Uh, just constantly doing what I'm doing. I haven't really done anything. I don't live in an interesting life. I literally just sit here and sleep. Sit here, sleep, eat, work on pool, work on something in the house if I feel like it. Do some chores if whenever I, I want to or if I need to. And that's just that's just how it goes. I, I, don't, I can't carry on a conversation for too long. The miracle I'm getting married within a few months it's, uh, it's 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 a miracle i don't know how i'm doing it but love her to death and i wouldn't trade her for the world take that how you will I managed to only blow up two of them which is just great. Fantastic. That's not good. Hopefully... Okay, it didn't blow up past us, but... Oh! A three for... Alright. I'm gonna shoot this one. I'm gonna toss all that out. And then grab a few, let it do its thing. Oh, there's ancient debris right there. It looks like it stopped floating, so now I'm going to kill all the drops. I'm going to go up and get that ancient debris. And then do a little excavation of the place just to see if there's anything else there. We don't see anything, so we move on. Constantly looking up and down, checking all those small crevices. That XP drop literally fucked the entire existence of me breaking that fucking ancient debris. I'm sorry for cursing. It just happened, and I... Okay, I didn't light anything. I'm actually a terrible shot right now. I haven't played regular Minecraft in so long. Regular vanilla Minecraft. Always been modded. And even then, then I'm just like, well, shit. Like, what am I doing? Sometimes I'll, I'll start spouting gibberish. 
That's because I don't have anything else left to say. Like, I literally don't. I don't have anything else to say, and now I'm just trying to fill the void. Because I guess filling the void with words is better than it being silent. I don't think that's what I've learned. I think that's just what I've kind of taught myself is better. Then imagine that this is the this is the video that that gets a whole lot of views. People just watching me blast mine for, for TN, or blast mine for ancient debris, spilling my heart out, and getting a decent chunk of views for it because I spilled my heart out. Why would you do that? Don't do that. That's a lot of lava. And we're gonna take a little detour. Yeah. Maybe a slight detour. Because there's more lava. Holy shit. Kill all drops. Continue moving on. My music has somehow stopped. It hasn't stopped, but it's like super quiet. And I want to listen to fun music. By fun music, I mean Animal, Cro Animal Crossing lo-fi. Because it soothes. Very calming. I thank you for stop hurting me. Hey, dude. You don't want the smoke. Any more ancient debris? None that I can see. So we gotta light the rest of that up. I feel like my reaction time has gotten way worse. Just doesn't feel right. And uh, once again, if if you've managed to make it this far, you've been listening to me uh, talk a lot about the, like this whole situation. Tell me your thoughts, too. Whether you're a friend of mine, what's going through your head about this whole situation. I don't want this to be like a sentimental thing. It's kind of just... Back then, when I didn't really tell a lot of people about my YouTube channel, I was way more like... Oh yeah, I'll tell I'll tell you or I'll say everything I could want to say about my personal life and and other shit. But now I'm like, okay, now that a lot of my friends, maybe even some of my family, sometimes they watch like some of the TikToks that I post, some of the shorts that I post, and it scares me to a certain degree because I don't act the same way in front of them. I'm still this Okay, very conservative, very, you know, not very outgoing um, individual. And then they see me playing games with my friends and trying to do stuff. And I am, like, just not not the same person. Like, two completely different personalities. And it's scary because I don't want them to just, like, see that. And I always think, I, I don't think I have the best relationship with my family. And I guess over the, the years, 
kind of tried repairing it. And I'm not the I'm not the best. Um but nobody's perfect. And I've come to realize that I've been horrible. And if I could go back and, and change a bunch of things, I would 100% change things to try and hope for a better outcome. But you, know, you get to the point where like, okay, you've already done this shit. And you got to live through it, deal with it. At the same time, you kind of don't want to deal with it. You want to. You, you really wish like you could go back and, and change what you've done. Um. If for any reason they hear any part of this, I want them to know that I'm sorry for how I've treated everybody. Know that I want the best outcome possible for my family and my friends. And I feel like my greed and my laziness have gotten in the way of those endeavors and that I love you and it's a little funny because we don't get too emotional all the time especially oh my goodness especially the, the guys my sisters will tell you that. My dad will tell you that, probably. We don't get emotional at all. And we kind of try to... Not really hide it. We just don't really show it. Um, but we are very emotional. At least whenever we know something gets to us because we've tried, to do, tried doing something like so so sensitive like something that we know we needed and it doesn't pan out or something that happened and it's just not a, it's not a good thing we just don't talk about it that's not that's not our way so yeah <laughs> I really hope they're not watching this right now. And then what sucks is that if one person finds it, they'll probably be like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna share it with everybody," because that's the way that's the way we are. We're gonna throw it out there for everybody to see, and now you gotta deal with it. So okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Bad enough, I got one person seeing it. Now I got the whole family looking at it. And now I'm the center of attention. I don't like being the center of attention. I'm going to get in, get out, and do it in as little time and as efficient as possible. Get that TNT. We're getting quite a bit of ancient debris on this side. Shoot that. I'm not going to move. I'm going to let it explode completely. It's still going. It stopped. Now we're going to kill all the drops. And then continuously move forward. I like how I say something about me getting a decent chunk of TNT. Or a decent chunk of ancient debris. And now I don't get anything. And now I get one. Just kidding.
There's a part of me that feels that I haven't gotten one point across. And I need to explain it better. But then I just start reiterating on it and just saying the same thing over and over and over and over. And then now we just get super bored because we're constantly saying the same thing. But there's one thing I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to like pinpoint exact what it what it is exactly because I'm not too sure what it is either. Oops. Okay, thanks. Thanks for that. An hour and 21 minutes of me venting to the world about issues and what ifs. I think another thing, Minecraft has changed so much because back then, before I re reconnected with Ryan, my friend Isaac was the duo that I would play with. Elvis was uh, taking a short break, the first of many. Oh my goodness. And we did a survival series and that survival series kind of took off. I took by taking off. I mean, okay, we're just, this is just a bad place to mine. I mean, it did really, really well. At least in the start. Because they're okay. Just everywhere. Everywhere is just lava. Um, it was live streamed, you know, we would constantly hop on and play probably cause we worked at the same place. We both worked at home Depot. So we kind of knew each other's schedules and, uh, the new update came out. It was actually the villager update where was it the villager update? It was I think it was the aquatic update. I'm not sure. It was like 113, 114, something like that. But it came out. We were super excited for it. And we went to do it. We, played, we created like this a villager trading hall. Um, he kind of built in, a, in the side of a mountain right next to me. I built into a mountain right next to me. Um, we built an emerald beacon. An elytra chorus. Excuse me. Just so much stuff. And that's actually when um, I think I posted on my Snapchat because I was constantly getting like 12, 15 viewers and I was so excited. So I was like, oh my God, like this is it. If I, if I keep this up, some days I'll be at like seven. Some days I'll be at five. I'm like, hey, that's still good. I'm not at two or three where I know who the, the viewers are. And there's got to be at least one person that's, you know, not here. And I would ask people, hey, like, where, where are y'all from? You know, what, what country are you watching me from? And I would get answers from New Zealand, Australia, uh, France. Um, I think I got one in the UK. I got someone from India. Someone from... I don't think, I think it was close to the Philippines, but it wasn't actually the Philippines. And I was, I thought that was fucking awesome. And, and every single time, every single time that something, something good is going to happen or something good is happening. I fuck it up. It's always me. It's always off. Oh, fuck. Like I got sick. I have to take a break or 
something happened along the way where I couldn't be consistent with streaming. And it ruined the whole vibe. Everybody ended up leaving the channel. No one really returned and losing what I built up at that point sucked. And I did that on multiple occasions. I did that in 2017. Wait, was it 2017? Let me think. Uh, that was back in, that was, that was after, I did that in 2018. I did it again in like in 2020 or 2021. And then I did it again in like 2022. And then I'm pretty sure I did it again in 2023. Every single time. Every single time I think it like something's good something good's going on. Something bad happens. In 2020, it was kinda kind of a, a legitimate reason. Um I got sick. I couldn't talk. I couldn't laugh. I couldn't do anything. I could barely breathe without coughing. It wasn't COVID. But it was in the height of COVID to where if something or if if it got any worse then I would go to the hospital, but I was under certain insurance where I'd go on to a military base. And they basically stated, if you have COVID, then you can come in. If you don't have COVID, is it life-threatening? If it's not life-threatening, please stay away. We kind of only really want the people that are that have COVID because we're trying to reduce the, the risk of infection. I thought, okay, that's, that's fine. Reduce the spread. Totally okay with it. I had the cough or whatever for about a month to two months. I think two months, it finally started to clear up, but it sucked. I was just... I was mind blown with how I felt so horrible. I didn't want to be anywhere at that point because I was like, this, this sucks. And then finally we got to a point, oh, hey, you know, we're not playing Minecraft anymore. We're playing DVD and, and you know, I lost all of those DVD followers because DVD changed and I didn't, I want to go back, but they changed it so much and I haven't practiced. I haven't learned anything about it. I haven't really watched any videos. And then it, yeah, the cough came. Didn't play with friends. Um, I feel like my friends only really play games if, or play games together if I'm there. We're all under the, the influence that I have to be there or, um, one of the, one, one, one of the main people has to be there in order for people to play games. They don't want to play games with each other which I feel like that puts kind of like an obligation on me. Like, Oh, hey, okay. I need to be, I need to be the one here. I need to be here in order for y'all to play games. So I'm going to try to I'm try to do that for you guys. Even though whenever we do, we kind of just sit in the discord and then no one talks, no one talk and no one talk and no one talk. And whenever we do talk or if someone is focusing and they're not really talking, then that's fine. But if they're just sitting in the Discord browsing Twitter or sitting in the Discord just not really doing anything, not really contributing to, to anything, I mean, I don't mind that. You know, I like also being in the company of people since we're kind of all so far apart. You know, we don't really go out as much. Um, so just being, ne just feeling my, the, the feeling of being next to each other is kind of like, oh yeah, it, that works. You know, that's fine. I don't mind it. But if it's constantly, nobody's talking, 
everybody's trying to do their own thing. And like, just once again, no talking. It sucks. And if it's like that over a long period of time, you're going to get burnt out from doing nothing. You're going to want to go play something. And then where you play something, that someone's going to pipe them and be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Like, okay, why did we hop on in the first place? And now I got to, the, now it's gotten to the point where I'm just like, okay, I'm going to just stay in the discord. If someone joins, if someone joins, then, then like, good, you know? Happy. I get to talk to someone. Because that's what I want to do. I want to fucking talk to people. But a conversation is supposed to be two-sided. You know, you talk you get a response and then it ends up just one person doing the talking or one person just trying to share memes or one person just trying to talk about things that you don't really want to talk about you don't feel comfortable talking about it kind of like politics or or like work or school or anything stuff that you already know what's happening you don't want to continuously reiterate on what, like, the situation's already bad. I don't want to continue talking about it. So can we please move on to another topic? And then the conversation just goes stale. People just stop talking again. Sometimes if you're not in the mood, then... No one talks. I'm going on a rant about people not talking. And then there are there are bouts whenever I'm streaming where I'm just silent. And kind of because I'm focusing on, on something. Um, I've found it more difficult for me to focus on certain tasks. And I need to like pace myself. Like, now, like right now or throughout this video, there are times where if I was talking, I would miss something. Or if I wasn't talking, I was focusing on something. I actually get that task done better. If it's not written down and I can look at it, then I'm not going to understand something. I'm going to just get lost. Lost in thought. And there are parts of me where I'm just like, okay, I know the answer to it. I know what to say. But my mouth has yet to figure out a way to, like, spit it out and say it. And it sucks so much. So I'm just like, I know, I know it, I know it. I, I can't say it. I just, I, I don't know why, but I just can't say it. I'm sorry. I wish I knew. Kill all drops, get some more ancient debris here. We got a bunch here, actually. That's really cool. They got a whole bunch. Make sure nothing else is hiding. We get this three piece right here. Nice looking three piece. Very good, very good. And then we continuously mine. Uh, I'm gonna try to take a, a short nap after this video, because I want to fix my sleeping schedule and i think i'm going to end up doing doing a twitch stream like right after this after the video gets gets rendered uh which we're actually almost done thankfully uh so i'll be able to upload that and then upload mm, some other shorts um and then hopefully get some stuff rendered so i can get stuff uploaded again because i'm going to start uploading as much as possible um Kind of just, I'm, I'm going to try doing just, just me days. Uh, we'll see how that works. And just me streams, seeing how, how those go again. Um, maybe I'll get a, a different feel. Maybe something will change. Uh, maybe just getting feedback from, from friends not in the Discord. And just getting it from chat. Kind of get myself accustomed to, to that feeling again of, trying to talk to people 
uh, there was a time back then, I think back in 2021, where I got raided by someone and, oh, there's ancient debris there. I got raided by someone who had like 20 viewers because we had the same name. His name was also It's David, but it was, or it was actually It's David. And he just got done playing, um, was it NBA, NBA or Madden? And he raided my stream and I was already at like 11 viewers at the time. It's like, okay, yeah, this is fucking awesome. He raids me. I go up to like 37 or 42, something like that. It was like my all time high. I saw it and I fucking froze. I couldn't say anything when I was like, thank you very much. I was currently working on like pirate shit. I was like, it was, it was a whole mess. It was, a, it was a whole mess, but, um, yeah, those, those, those moments I'll live for those the moments where you don't expect it and something happens and now you're, you're just flabbergasted that you don't know how to act. It's like, you just get starstruck. So, I need to stream without seeing how many viewers I have now. Uh, just because I can try to try to be as normal as possible. But if a lot of people start chatting, I start getting scared. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I hate public speaking. And I see this as a way to, to get out of get out of it. Like, be, be try to be more prepared. Try to... Ooh, don't do that. Try to uh, get more comfortable in a in a setting where you need to talk to people, let it land a lot of people. Kind of like speech, you go up to give a speech, a presentation. I hated that shit. And even though I got better as the years went on. It sucked. And I don't think I ever want to go through that ever again. At least right now. There's no need for this. There's no need for this. Uh, I have 21 more TNT. We almost have a full stack of ancient debris, which that is just pretty insane. Uh, so I'm going to quickly just go through here. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Just got to get rid of this TNT. We can go home, smelt it all, and see where we're at. We need to get to, uh, what was it, 162, sub 162 ancient, or not ancient debris, netherite ingots. So, that's what we're going to work towards. Um, or should we just combine the two? I think we should just straight up combine Twitch and YouTube. So we need to go for like over 300. I think it's like 380, somewhere around there. Um, so we're going to work towards that. Just just keep stacking that on top of each other. Which means I'm not going to have enough TNT. Or I'm not going to have any more TNT. I need to go uh, get more gunpowder. And unfortunately, we don't really have a creeper spawner. So, probably gonna go make that one. Ow. Actually, wait. Hold on. Get me up here. Throw this and this away. Throw that. Okay. Kill all drops real quick. Alright, cool. Yeah, it's currently 5.21 in the morning. I basically did this as if it was a live stream. Kind of just talking and... And doing my thing. Uh, but I'm recording a video. And if you have listened to this entire video, hopefully, hopefully you can take something away from it. Or if you skip to the end or anything like that. I hope you take away one thing. If you're not a friend of mine, or if you're a friend of mine, you don't really need to listen to this because I, I kind of know how everybody 
is how everybody acts or you know if you if you really want to listen to it like by all means listen don't make the mistakes that i made and try to do it for other people do it for yourself and try to keep pushing through everything that happens um you're doing good so far there are times where things may get to a point where you don't want to do anything anymore But trust me, you are so close to a breakthrough, you have no idea. And you just need to keep pushing. Don't take a break. Don't do any of that. Because the moment that you get comfortable, the moment that you get complacent, the whole world is just going to come crashing down on you. And it's not going to be good. If you're going to go out and do something, do it 110%. And don't stop until you've reached your goal, until you've reached where you feel comfortable enough to maybe pump the brakes a little bit, but don't stop. Keep going. If there's an obstacle in the way, push through it. Find a way to push through it. Come up with a plan to, to tackle your, your obstacle and beat it. Don't make the mistakes that I made and Say, oh, uh, yeah, I'll get back into it eventually. That, that's that, that, the eventually part is the part that kills everything. You'll eventually get to it. When, when will eventually be? And I guess I've been kind of a hypocrite about that too. Cause I was back then, my sisters would always say, I would be like, hey, let's play a board game or let's play something and I still hold hold grudges to this day and be like yeah let's play board games let's play a puzzle or let's do a puzzle let's you know play a card game you want to go do something say oh we'll do it later I'm busy like okay I'll just go do my own thing I guess I went started playing Minecraft and did my own thing here not really um, doing too much don't do that don't do that Thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end, you are a trooper. I believe in everything you stand for. I hope that anything that I've said can maybe help you in some way. But you just got to keep pushing. You got it. Got it. Keep keep doing what you're doing. You're doing good. Um, I don't know when this video is going to go up. But when it does go up, the stream that I'm going to do will have already happened. Unless I decide to post this, like right, like right as soon as it just gets done. I mean, there's nothing else for me to do. Just say, hey, 
Let's fucking go. Um, but yeah, there's not really anything else I gotta do. Anything else I gotta say? Um, I I'm notorious for having very, very, very long outros. So, um, once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like the video. Um, comment your your favorite part or comment um, words of encouragement to other people, to me, to your family, to your friends, um, random person that you come across. Um, what else? I get lost. Of train of thought. Whatever. Just thinking. Um, we have twenty three netherite ingots currently working towards about 300 so we did get a good bunch we got really lucky i would say um i am gonna work towards we'll probably make a creeper farm later today um and then you know just go from there just figure some things out but i'll see you guys tomorrow i have a good one